Hello, hello. Hi. Here today, I like the smile. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. We don't know anything about Aloha. Can you wow. tell us about yourself? Okay. Uh, well, Aloha is first and foremost a daughter of God. <laughs> I always say that. Um, I'm a mom to three lovely kids and oh. I'm a wife to oh. <laughs> to one husband. Oh, I like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> UJFMY. And then I'm a, I'm a Christian recording artist. I'm a singer. I, I lead worship songs in church. And yeah, I think that's that's me. And of course, I'm the last child from a family of seven, who are all actors or actresses or movie producers or directors. Yeah, so so we can see that from the background, you have taken something and that's oh, music. Oh yeah, yeah, Fabulous. I have taken music. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, we know that you are the program coordinator at Heart Song. Mm -hmm. What is Heart Song? Okay, well, Heart Song is, um, I mean, it was born out of a desire to encourage people to come together, people from from all kinds of backgrounds, you know, from different culture, from different denominations, to just come together as one, to, to just um, bask in an atmosphere of worship for the audience of one, which is God, you know. Oh, okay. So, um, a few years ago, sometime, long, long time ago, I... I was, I don't know if I should call it a dream, because I was, I was kind of awake, I wasn't really sleeping, I was awake and I just, I don't know what to call it, but I just saw myself in a very large crowd, I was, I was singing, I was leading people to worship, and I could see people in the congregation from all walks of life, you know, all races, all cultures, just together in unity, just worshipping God. And in that atmosphere, things were just happening, you know. So I had that picture. This was like years and years ago. I think maybe I was in my youth service then or something, mm. you know. This was like 14 or 15 years ago. Now, so I, I had that picture in my heart and I didn't know what it was. I was just like, okay. I shared it with a few pastor friends that I had. Like, this is this. Is this. And they just, okay, just keep praying, you know. When the time is right, it will... It will just all be revealed, and so in 2008, I now had to write a proposal, you know, to my, to my senior pastor. Then to say, okay, I think this is what I would like to do, you know, just gather people from different churches because we all have our individual churches, but this was something I wanted for all the churches to just come together, mm -hmm. even people who are not really Christians, you know, who would not ordinarily go to church, mm -hmm. but you know, to come to this kind of place to just worship God, to just have fun in God's presence. So that's how Heart Song was born. And in 2011, I just registered it as a charity mm -hmm. because. Uh, I still wanted to do stuff with it, not just doing the worship um, concert or events or praise events, but I still wanted to do other stuff right. with it, yes. Yeah, so. Can you tell us more about those other things you want to do? Okay, um, awesome. yeah, one of the things that we even attempted doing was going into like the, the old people's homes right. in, in, in Aberdeen and the prisons. Right. So just, talking about community projects. Yeah, community projects, right. just going in there to, to support them, to just help them and to reach out because you know when people are in, in those kind of places mm. they feel a lot of them are depressed a lot of mm. them feel neglected uncared for so that's one of the things that you know want to do go there sometimes i mean i think last christmas we actually went to one of the homes to just sing christmas carols oh which one of this uh jessmond you um. know and it was amazing they were all singing oh. and you know and then there was this old man who it was his birthday that day we didn't realize it Goodbye. and he requested for us to sing him happy birthday you know oh. so they were all so happy they wanted to hug us after we left you know so it's just it's just making an impact in people's life, positive impact in people's yeah. lives, inspiring them to just to just forge ahead, to just yeah. go on, you know, yeah. and all that. And also supporting the less privileged. Before we relocated to the UK, we actually were running an NGO in Nigeria that right. was into com a lot of community development projects, yeah. you know. But of course, you know, the Nigerian environment is different from Aberdeen, know. you know. So things we're doing, like setting up borehole water projects, you know, going into the schools to to help the children achieve, of course we can't do that here because the environments are different, you know. Mm. So we have to look here to see how we can um, impact. impact, yes. Yeah, so um, that's, that's, that's. I like to prompt people about what they're doing in the community, yeah. how they're making people smile, how yeah. they're making, you know, bringing out the best in mm -hmm. people and that's the reason why I really wanted to know what exactly you're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. 
it's interesting that you're already involved in the community and yes. I really wish you the best with Thank that. you too much. Just let us know what you're talking about and what you want to do next and we will be there supporting you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, we know that you have invited us to the launch Yay. of uh, an album on Saturday. <laughs> we're all excited. Yes. Definitely we are coming it's to support exciting. you. excited. Yes, you can see that in your face. And um, I believe that is Eloho. Yes, that's that's Eloho. Yeah, it's not hard song. It's it's just Eloho. Yeah, so, you're bringing yeah. out Eloho. Oh gosh, yes I am. Great. So <laughs> tell us about fifteenth of March. Okay, fifteenth of March is my first ever album release, album launch. Yay. My goodness, it's been a long time coming. You wow. know, I've always loved to sing. I wanted to just sing and just make music and just. Just love on God, you know. Oh. I think when I was much younger, I did attempt to go into the studio, but nothing came out of it. But I never thought I'll be doing this again because I just felt I can't sing in church or sing in programs. That's okay. I don't really need to do a CD, you know. But I had been through a rough period, you know, uh, um, a couple of years ago. I'd, I'd, I'd just been through such a rough part, you know, and I wasn't even sure who I was or who I, I am anymore you know i'd lost confidence in myself and all that but then you know i knew that people had spoken into my life prophets pastors and had said my gifts you know talked about my gift and my talent about singing you know and how i was going to make music i was going to produce cds i mean when they were all speaking i was like oh, yeah right you know produce <laughs> <What else>? CDs. <laughs> exactly i just don't want to produce a cd for producing sick do you understand i mean so you know so that while well, when I was I was going through all of that in that time I was just listening to to worship songs from different artists I was just meditating and and it was so strong in my heart you need to do this of course I'd, there's somewhere in the Bible that says out of two or three witnesses mm -hmm. the mouth of it, a thing is established so I've, I've had like one two three four five people say the same thing you know so I ha and I had to now step in like okay yes I'm ready to do this. But then one of the things I said was, I just didn't want to do it, you know. I know, yes, I've written a few songs, but I wanted to do it right. So I needed someone who could not just produce the songs, but I needed someone who could also write for me. I can just say, okay, this is how I feel. This is this is what I would love the song to say. This is how I would like the music to go, and you just write it and produce it, you know. So I was looking for, I was looking for people everywhere, you know, who could do this, who could do that, blah, 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 blah. I even got a few people, I was like, okay, yeah, let's work. Actually, in 2011, I did record a, a demo called Heart Song. This is my heart song. Aww. It was never released, you know, but I did do that in 2011, but I left that. So, late 2012, I met someone on Facebook who we got talking about music, worship, songs, CDs, and all that. And she again said something about, you know, I was like, ah. You guys just leave me okay so what now she was like oh i know this brilliant producer blah 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 it's not because he's my husband but he's the, one of the best producers i know he writes beautifully he does this he does that i was like okay i'll give him a go because i'd heard like that you know so i spoke to this guy and he asked me so the first question he asked me was why are you doing this i was like because i feel the time is right, right. i could have done this 10 or 20 years ago when i was much younger you know but it wasn't just the right time you know so I said, this, I, I believe this is the right time. And I want my music to inspire people. I want my music to, to, to cause people to just want to love on God, to just want to worship Him. You know, I was like, wow, that's strange. Because people will say they want to make a hit song. They want to write a song that's just going to hit and sell and all that. And you're just totally different. So I'm going to work with you. So and he said, by the way, I write songs. I was like, woohoo, yeah, that's what I've been wondering. Okay, write me a song on this and that. This is what I've been through. You know, this is, this is where, where I was and this is where I am just now. You know, and this is what I would like to just... And so he wrote me the most beautiful song ever called Titled Arise. As soon as I heard the first notes, you know, the first verse, I was like, wow, that is it. I'm going to work with you. So he, of course, obviously, he had to fly in from Nigeria and, and, and we worked together. He was supposed to just do one or two songs, but he ended up doing ten songs. Ten? Hey. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I, I mean, everything I had been through inspired me to just go ahead. The words of prophecies, you know, prophecy being fulfilled and my love for God and just wanting people to be blessed, you know. 
and just to be a, to, just to inspire people to worship and all that. So I mean, yeah, so that's how Arise came about. Oh, I mean, it's it's a lovely, lovely, lovely piece of work. I am even shocked. I was like, are you sure this is me? Because like, <laughs> if anyone had told me, I was like, nah, no, 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 I'm not good enough. <laughs> that's the first thing. I, I think my producer even fought with me. Mm -hmm. Your problem is you don't believe in yourself. I was like, yeah, you know. Oh, so. Man. But yeah, it's it's exciting, and then Saturday the fifteenth of of March, which is just a few days away, we're gonna have like a red carpet dinner, three course meal, and all that. And someone was asking me, why are you doing this? Why are you not doing the conventional way of just having a concert? I was like, well, I've worked so hard the last one year, and it's just an excuse to party, an yeah. excuse to celebrate, and just all the works, you know. <laughs> and besides, and besides, I realized that when we do when we do this concert, album launch concert, people just come and celebrate with us. But people don't actually leave with the CDs. Right. But what we're doing is, I mean, people have paid for, for their dinner and some of the money will go to a CD, maybe about five pounds or something, you know. So that means everyone who comes to the venue is gonna go away with a CD. Right. So you have me with you at home. Oh, you go. <laughs> and your cars, <laughs> you know, yes, so. I'm I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to you can it. See the yeah, I am, I am. <laughs> and then the feedback has been amazing. The reviews have been amazing. Even people I don't know, I get all sorts of emails every day. I'm like, mm -hmm. is this the Eloho I know or somebody else you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I just thank God for, for where he's brought me from the journey so far. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Um mm -hmm. we well, you mentioned one or two challenges that you made, yeah. you know, that has um being part of this journey mm -hmm. with you and we know, yeah. also know that with uh, Africans, black people especially when you are trying to get your records out there you don't have the record labels be behind yeah. you it can really really be challenging or altogether mm -hmm. the project might just be something you can put away for a long yeah, time because yeah. you don't have that right support mm -hmm. and this is why we thought you know it's good to get faces of people the things that I pushing them, encouraging yeah, them, yeah, yeah. give them a platform to talk about it and also put it out there. The social media yeah, is really working know, for social, everybody. Social media so we want to great. use this very, very, very effectively. Yeah. One of those challenges, in addition to what you have mentioned, that you think other people can learn from and they can overcome and okay well like you said you know because we, we don't we, we are called indie artists you know because yeah, we don't yeah. have any record labels but one of the things i believe is you, you you have to you have to put yourself your face out there you know get people to know you and there, there are already people who who have been placed you know to help you do stuff so look for look for the people who are good at the jobs they do. Like um, there's a there's a PR um, um, PR company or something in the US who found me and offered their services at just a very ridiculous amount. Do you understand? Yeah. And okay, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do that. And I was like, I don't really have a budget for it, but I can afford this. And it was so ridiculous how much you know. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing the job they've been doing because I've had quite a lot of followership because of that, right. you know. And people are listening to the song. Radio stations are already playing it, mm. you know. And the feedback, that's why I say the feedback is amazing. So, yes, we have these challenges, but we need to, like we, I think we say it in Nigeria, you need to spend money to make money. money. Be creative about it. Be creative it. about Correct. it. If yeah. you need to pay for it, pay for, pay it. for it. You know, not, every, not, not everything comes free. free. If it's you know. free, really, there's something behind exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. you know, so so you need to just uh, and um, be likable, I think, <laughs> you know. Just be likable and get people to, like, I know Timmy has always been pushing me, <laughs> you need to do this today, you need to do that. I'm like, oh, leave me alone, <laughs> you know. So, <laughs> you, need, you need people like that who, who will push you, who will spur you on and just encourage you to just, to just move on. So, yeah. All right. Oh, we're happy that you're actually, you know, on the path that you mm -hmm. have always wanted to go 10 years ago, 15 yeah. years ago. It is amazing sometimes when you rise up to the occasion and you just I know give it a go and say, this is it, either now or never. <sighs> so because we wish you the best on Saturday. Thank you so much and looking forward to seeing you there. Absolutely, we will be there live. Um, the last question that we have for you today is just to ask you, what are the, what's the message you want to pass along to everybody out there about? Eloho, about Rise, about Saturday. <sighs> What's the message? Um, 
I think I was asked this question a few days ago <laughs> and you know the messages just keep evolving but one of the things I, 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 I want to pass on is if you believe you can achieve you know mm -hmm. and um, whatever you want to do take just take a little step you know and do it don't be because a lot of us personally I, I am one person I don't even want to say let me not just say it because people will not believe me if I say it but you know just believe in yourself and 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 take that first step don't don't let anything slow you down don't, there'll be discouragements there'll be challenges there are people who would never support you people who will never encourage you or people who will never say the people you even expect you know but don't let that stop you don't let that discourage you once you believe in it and god's hand is on it just go for it and and, and the sky is your limit yeah and um just to inspire people to just worship god and just just keep holding on to God. He's 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 everything, really. You know, if not for Him, we will not all be here. You know. Okay. So yeah, I think that's the message. Oh, good. And um, what else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just <laughs> well, thank you very much, Ella, oh, for your time. Goodness. We know you're a very busy woman. You're a mom, oh, hardworking oh, mom, my goodness. a business woman, an goodness. artist. Yeah, business woman. We have now. been trying to do this for a while. I know. We finally done it. So. <laughs> Well done. Thank you. We wish me. you again the very best on Saturday. We will be with you. We hope um, you get the best. I hope so. You too. see the best oh, yeah. and you will achieve the best. Thank you. See you on Saturday. See you. Thank you. Bye.